Well, um, I will start by thanking God Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who in his independent mercy uh, gives us the opportunity of being here in Liberia uh, for the purpose of the inauguration of the 25th president of Liberia, His Excellency Mr. Joseph Nyuma Baakwe and his Vice President, Senator Jeremy. Actually, we received the invitation, written and signed by the National Party, Chairman of the Unity Party, uh, Honorable Luther Taffe, why we honor the invitation, and we happen to be in Liberia. We are able to witness the inauguration and everything went well. We thank God for his mercy. Well, to God be the glory. What we witness to us is appreciable. Liberia is the most oldest African nation in regaining its independence in going into democracy and things being seen on ground it has shown the acceptability of acceptability of democracy by Liberians democracy itself is a people I mean it's a uh, government of the people by the people and for the people from what we learned what we've seen is the clamor of the citizens that brought the president on seat. So that's the essence of democracy. When you talk of peace, it's the whole life. While there is no peace, there is no progress. While there is no peace, there is no development. While there is no peace, the survival and the coexistence of the citizen itself is questionable. For a country to develop, to for a country to progress, there must be peace and peaceful coexistence. We've seen how other African countries were attached. If one is to calculate, substantial percentage of the African countries were touched by crisis, and that brought setback in the development aspect, progressive aspect and social development and coexistence of the citizenry. So there must be a stop to any crisis, any fights, any war, any quarrel. We have to accept ourselves. We have to be our brother's keepers and uh, give a sense of belonging to our blood brothers and sisters so that we'll develop. Yes laid a policy statement in terms of development, in terms of construction of that, bringing all together, irrespective of regional, tribal, ethnicity, or whatever, that Liberia should come together to move Nigeria, I mean Liberia forward. So to me, the inaugural speech of Mr. President has sent a very good signal, a very significant, positive signal to all Liberians and by extension to all Africans. We sincerely appreciate and commend the inaugural speech of Mr. President. No. Well, when you talk about opposition, you're coming to politics. As a royal brother, I'm not into politics. But what is most important is the development of Liberia. A very blessed land, a very fertile land, covered by streams. What I will encourage and advise His Excellency is to dwell much on agriculture. The land is fertile. The younger generations uh, will, will be on board for them to be leaders of tomorrow. There are areas, key areas, uh, particularly when you talk of sensitizing the citizens, the youth, 
enlighten the youth for them to be self-sufficient, for them to start on their own. Seeing the resources, both mineral, natural, and human resources in Liberia, I see no reason why Liberia will not be at the top of all nations. Well, uh, as I started by thanking uh, Almighty Allah for bringing us here, uh, the reception, according to us, need to be very much appreciated. The Nigeria Embassy, the Liberia Embassy, and above all, Honorable Mrs. Lawrence, who happened to be with us starting from the airport, that's the former Minister of Culture and Tourism, who has been with us all throughout, the National Chairman of the Unity Party, paid homage immediately when we are in. So these are areas that need to be appreciated. This has shown the brotherhoodness, the being togetherness, the acceptability we have between the two countries. So we thank God for his mercy.